Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. Samantha madly spills out Meghan's disgust, Meg blackmails Harry with secrets about Archie and Lily. Before we start, please, like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Still at odds. After years of public drama, Samantha Markle filed a lawsuit against half-sister Meghan Markle, alleging the Duchess lied during her 2021 tell-all interview with husband Prince Harry. The sisters' tumultuous relationship originally made headlines ahead of Meghan and Harry's wedding in May 2018. Two years later, the couple announced that they were stepping back from their duties as working members of the royal family. In February 2021, they confirmed their decision to not return to their senior roles. Meghan and Harry, who moved to California following their royal exit, addressed their major life change during a CBS sit-down one month later. During the interview, the California native said, I grieve a lot. I mean, I've lost my father. I lost a baby. I nearly lost my name. I mean, there's the loss of identity. Samantha, who has previously been outspoken about Meghan throughout her royal tenure, claimed in her March 2022 lawsuit that her younger sibling was not being honest when discussing her past or their father, Thomas Markle. In court documents obtained by Us Weekly at the time, the diary of Princess Pushy's sister author alleged that Meghan made up stories about growing up in virtual poverty. Also recently, Samantha Markle slams Harry of being childish and selfish for not attending Prince Philip's memorial and service of Thanksgiving due to be held on Tuesday. The service marks almost a year since the passing of the Duke of Edinburgh, and will be a service to honour his life and achievements. Prince Harry announced that he would not be attending the ceremony, and will not fly his family to the UK but hopes to reunite with the Queen as soon as possible. The decision comes after Harry declared he felt unsafe after his car was chased by paparazzi on his last visit to the UK, which undoubtedly brought up traumatic memories of his mother's death. The Home Office decided in 2020 to not allow Prince Harry to pay for security to protect his family when he visits the UK. A decision he is appealing in court. The prince gave up the privilege of royal security when himself and Meghan Markle stepped away from the royal family. Speaking to Daily Star, Samantha said, I think the bottom line is naturally, he would have security, asking to make security such a big issue seems like some sort of excuse on the grounds that the whole royal family are attending. As the whole world has seen the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children live such high-profile lives yet with a resemblance of normality, they don't always take private jets and travel coach, economy, while on royal duty they have security, it's the same with Princess Anne. When Prince Harry attended the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh, he received the full security protection given to royals as the event was assessed as a terror flashpoint and so he was given security. When he unveiled his mother's statue with Prince William, he was not. Ms. Markle added, Harry and Meghan stepped down from royal duty, and wanted to pursue the red carpets and be American so therefore it only seems right and protocol that they're not entitled to the same benefits that royal duty comes with. Former Royal Protection Officer Ken Wharf wrote for the Daily Mail and say, Prince Harry has an outrageous check demanding full royal security detail to be reinstated when he visits the UK. He added, police protection should not be for sale. Mr. Wharf noted that if his proposal was granted then Britain would face the humiliating prospect of hiring out our highly trained and armed officers to any reality television narcissist or tinpot dictator's children who can foot the bill. Samantha continued, to demand things that being in duty would provide, it's counterintuitive and seems childish and selfish, especially under these conditions and everything that has transpired. Flinging racial allegations against the royals, they were horribly attacked by Harry and Meghan, so to turn around and demand private security after evading royal duty, it's totally inappropriate. Not to mention the fact, Prince Philip was his grandfather, but Harry has been in service, 
Prince Philip served in World War II, not only to honor him as his grandfather but also a military figure, who is noted for great service is highly disrespectful. She concluded, to put something as petty as security ahead of the obvious ethical, humane military and royal respect, it doesn't make sense, it's sad. Mr. Worf noted that the only reason for armed security to be granted to Harry would be if the intelligence services have identified clear dangers to Harry and his family, from terrorists or other criminals while he is on British soil. He concluded, they cannot reclaim what they threw away two years ago. Royalty doesn't work like that. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to Thanks. our channel.